Hey, what's up y'all? RJ here with CV Tech and today I want to take you to some of the camera settings here on the Huawei Ascend XT. Now I'm making a separate video for this because this thing just has a whole lot of camera features. Now unfortunately I will not have a camera and video test uh, on this phone. Um, so I do apologize for that but uh, I want to go in here right now and I want to kind of just open up the camera and just show you some of the features that this um, camera does have. Now it does have quite a bit. If you look down here, you'll see it has light painting, beauty, photo, video, and time lapse. Now, right, this button right here uh, will take you here and take you to the mode at mono, uh, impact, looks like ND, uh, Valencia, original, blue, halo, nostalgia, and dawn. So you got all those kind of neat little features there. You can scroll over here and you have your beauty mode. Of course, you go from 0, 5 to 10. And if you go left again, you'll have light painting. And I did have some pictures of this. This is really cool. Uh, I thought that, you know, the light trails. Um, so I'll, I'll just capture the trails of light made by moving cars in the night. I did try that one night and it was pretty awesome, but all it does is take a picture. Uh, so it's not like a video. It records like a video, but it's really just a picture. Then you have light graffiti, captures the trails of light in a dark environment. I've not tried that. You got silky water, captures the flow of moving water in a silky smooth effect. And Star Trek, uh, captures the trails of the stars and galaxies in the night sky. Fortunately, I didn't try that either, but, you know, it is what it is. So, we'll back out of that there, we will go into photo. We will look at just some of the settings here. You do have panorama, HDR. you got professional mode, um, which, this little button down here, you can set all this stuff here. Uh your center spot all that stuff your ISO you can change to whatever you want it to be which is pretty cool you got all these settings here now I'm not really sure what all these settings here are just by letter you know um, you get that shutter shutter speed and you can change that to whatever liking you wish EV for your brightness your autofocus, you can choose autofocus, autofocus, and manual focus. Here you have your white balance, which you can choose between, you know, whatever you want to. And that's all on the professional. Now, right here, you also have these kind of squigglies here. Uh, not really sure what that's for. Didn't try it out. Then you got your grid and all that cool stuff. So, um, quite a few features there. Of course, here is your settings. You got an 8 megapixel uh, 4x3, 6 megapixels 16 by 9 a 5 megapixel 4x3, 3.8 16 by 9 and 3.8 1 by 1 for those little square photos. You got GPS tag, preferred save location. You can do SD card or internal. It says SD card even without an SD card inside, so not really sure what's going on there. You got horizontal level, perfect selfie on or off. Then add your personal info. You got mute here, which I guess that right there will just kind of mute all your sounds. Audio control for your camera. Now, this is not like a video camera audio control. Got your self timer of 2, 5, and 10 seconds. Object tracking. You can touch the object you want to focus on. The camera will then track and focus on that object. Uh, volume button function, you can use focus, zoom, or shutter. It's really nice because it's kind of like you have a camera, a uh, dedicated camera key here on the volume instead of just having to put, touch the screen or push the uh, picture on there. Ultra snapshot, um, open camera and take quick snapshot, open camera and off. And now right there is double press that double press volume down key when device is locked to open that and advanced settings is image adjustment you can you can adjust your brightness contrast and saturation so now we're going to back out of here and just kind of 
get your uh, all focus which um, says you can change the focus on different area of the photo after it's been taken recommended for close-up shots steady device steady the device as you shoot got watermark got your slow motion which is really cool I like doing slow motion video but the video quality greatly diminishes so I thought I'd throw that out there as well now I'll keep this video short as possible but I'm trying to slow down take my time and just go through everything here on this uh, camera this has got a lot on it got audio note good food which take pictures of food document re uh, read 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 adjustment which you can um, analyze a document and it'll do something. I don't know what that is. I'm sure y'all know if y'all were in that kind of thing. And you have settings here, which I then went through the settings and all that stuff with you a minute ago. Now you have your front facing camera here. Now I will say that the uh, front facing camera or, or, the, or the camera on this, um, from what I've seen in lower lighting, is not the greatest camera in the world um, but I did not was I was not able to go any outside shots but from what I can tell on the inside outside shots should be pretty good now on the front here got beauty mode video mode um, photo mode and you of course you got time lapse as well uh, I really like time lapse I think that's kind of a fun thing to have so I forgot to uh, show you the settings in the video on the rear camera, which I'll get to that here in just a second. So some of the settings here on front facing camera is panorama, watermark, audio note. You can use it as a mirror and your settings here is mirror reflection. It has a 1.9 or 2, 1.9 megapixel camera at 4x3, 0.9 at 16x9 and VGA at 4x3. GPS tag, preferred save location. You got perfect smile on or off, mute on or off. Pretty much the same thing. Timer for selfie is 2, 5, and 10 seconds. Uh, you can touch the capture, capture smiles. Uh, volume button function is shutter. Of course, shutter and zoom. Uh, and ultra snapshot, kind of like, you know, that you know, it was on the rear camera. You got ISO white balance and image adjustment now for the video go into the settings here once again uh, the same thing pretty much and for the video you were able to record in 720p 16 by 9 640 by 480 4 by 3 320 by 240 4 by 3 and of course MMS messaging uh, which is the only thing you can really send as MMS is 176 by 44 and of course you have beauty mode, GPS tag, all that stuff as well. So, um, going back to photo, and you have the same things here as well. Um, mono, impact, ND, all that stuff. So, pretty much the same thing you see there. And, of course, like I said, time lapse and all that cool stuff. back out of here and now get my bearing straight uh, so go to the right to the rear camera go to video here and we'll look at the settings and um, for the resolution you can record in full HD 1080p 16 by 9 720p 16 by 9 VGA 480 at 4 by 3 320 by 240 and of course the same 176 by 144 and you have uh, beauty mode, object tracking, pretty much the same thing as you've seen a minute ago. Uh, and of course, you also got time lapse as well, which is a really neat feature. So this has quite a few features on the camera. Um, I got my ZTE Warp 7 right here. Uh, I'm going to try and just take a sample photo here to kind of just show you the quality that I can get by taking a regular picture. So we'll zoom in there on the ZTE uh, emblem. And looking here, um, it don't look too good on camera, 
But whenever you're looking at it through the actual camera, it does look pretty good, pretty good detail. So the camera is not too bad in low lighting, but of course it's nothing really to write home about either. It's just kind of one of those cameras to where it's decent and low and decent and kind of low lighting, but I expect it to be a lot more crisp, a lot better. Uh, I did do some video recording on it, and I gotta say the video camera on this uh, on this phone is really nice. Uh, it has some very nice, uh, really nice clear video, really good audio quality, and so yeah, that's just the camera settings here on the Huawei Ascend XT. This was helpful in any way. Please hit that thumbs up button. I sure would appreciate it. Any. Uh, questions or com any questions comments you want to uh, ask leave down in the comment section below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible uh, if, you haven't if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so by hitting that subscribe button I really appreciate it y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video